The purpose of this video is to compare a uh, quite sophisticated aquarium with uh, aquaculture techniques and with hydroponics for those who are also interested in some of the correlations and similarities. This is a, this is a uh, an aquarium that my cousin owns. Total costs about approximately nine thousand dollars. He's built it at stages. This furniture piece that you see here is is actually reinforced steel. It's uh, it's got a leather finish. You can see the leather finish on it, but um, <clears throat> there's no way that a wooden structure would support all this weight. Um, you can really appreciate the uh, the fish here. And the coral. There's like a little Nemo. ¿Cuántos litros es? 600 liters. Total volume. Those stir those are actually water stirs. They're little fans. So in the same in hydroponics you see here. You have to keep also mechanical movement, just like with it, with wind on plants. Same thing. There's got to be movement in the in motion in the water. You've got magnetic cleaners that can be raised and lowered. Each fish in here is approximately about a hundred dollars if if you can find it. And they're all hiding there in the back. Okay, let's look at some of the some of the comparisons with the aquaculture. Here we have <clears throat> the habitat of fish, and the, <clears throat> the you need to keep the oxygen levels high. You need to keep the water clean, inoculated with the appropriate bacteria, and all the infrastructure happens below the drawers here. So you open these. Here you have the water. The water comes in, part of that bubbling is oxygenation, and you have sediment dropping here. This is a very interesting one. This is a lot like uh, aquaculture here. You have a bulb, a light source. There's a plant down below here. This I remember when this plant was tiny, and I've actually uh, encouraged my cousin to get a bigger, bigger, uh, b bigger bulb, and he also got a large, you know, a larger wattage and uh, wider light. He had, he had a, um, he had a, uh, a reddish light on there before. And this plant has taken off. It used to be tiny. This plant provides oxygen, of course, and it grows with its light. It also filters the water as well. So that's going on in the background. And you have three, three filters of rock. This provides. It surface area for inoculations and cultures, beneficial bacteria. That's going on. As you can see, there's constant movement. There's another. This is actually a, you know a mechanical filter here. So you have one and two. And down below here, I don't know if you can appreciate that, but there's a pump and several bags with goodies that provide. Um, the condition of the water and provide the correct bacteria. All right now, recently we just introduced this piece. I just brought this from a few months ago. This is uh, four hundred dollars, just this piece alone. But this ties it all into to, uh, <clears throat> to aquaponics. This filter has done most of the job now compared to all these stages that you've seen here. Although these are still necessary, they still need to be there to be introduced. But this filter does vast amounts of, of cleaning. As you can see, the water is being spun around in a vortex. There's lots of bubbles. Oxygenation is taken off. And when you have that kind of motion with lots and lots of bubbles, you have a humongous surface area blasted into the water real, real quickly. So then what happens is that that separates the proteins and the fats in the water with, from the water. So they, they kind of condense. They float. They start floating to the top, and they they condense right here. I'm going to open this up. This up right here, and as you can see, 
this is this is like fish emulsion. This stuff, it's it's pure fish proteinase. You know, it's 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 just it's protein. And this would be what would be feeding the fish. I mean, the plants. So the fish would be producing this as a waste. And this waste, your plants love this stuff. So in an aquaculture scenario, you would have this is being the plant food. So you have that right there. And there's, you can see the bubble action and the protein being collected on the edges. But just this piece alone here is $400. I brought this back from them. It's a protein skimmer. They're called protein skimmers. So yeah, you can see what the, you know, the operation, the cost of operating one of these is uh, anywhere between, depending on how much your electrical bill is, uh, how much you're paying for electricity, but uh, here in Mexico, it's a, about uh, 50 to $70 a month to operate a uh, $9,000 aquarium in trying to mimic nature. It gets expensive when you try to mimic God. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, take care, bye-bye.